Okay, so my cat is currently asleep underneath the couch downstairs. He's a complete nuisance when I sew, so I'm gonna see how much sewing I can get done <laughs> before he wakes up and comes to find me. For the record, I didn't even get through that intro. On the table, I have four dresses cut out. We have this one, which I've done the front bodice for. This is, you'll probably recognize this fabric from a project I did like a year ago. So this dress is gonna have a slight variation. But then we have the two new fabrics from Fabric Mart, which is the orange and then like the blue ditzy floral. In case anyone is trying to figure out the style of dress that we are trying to make, I'm actually wearing a version of it. So let me put you down and we'll show you the entire outfit. Oh no, I don't have a good angle. Unless I go move far enough back. Okay, so if I squat a little bit, you can see we are going for the summer dress. This skirt has three panels in it and it has a really fun little slit. I don't think I'm gonna do the slit in the other dresses because they're only gonna have two panels, but we should still have like fun skirts. The bodice is gonna be the same. I did some pattern alterations so that way like this extra bit that's right here is going to be taken out. I'm super excited because this is gonna take my summer wardrobe from being like two summer dresses to six. So last night I got the straps for the blue ditzy floral and the orange done and then I've already showed you that I got the bodice and then those straps done so we still need to do the straps for the blue dress. If I'm being honest the only reason how come I didn't do the straps for the blue dress last night is because I needed to charge my camera battery and I wanted to show you guys how I've been making these adjustable straps. Shall we? I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota Are you gonna start attacking my toes? I feel like you're hunting. Are you hunting me? Colorado calls to me and Washington will always be Begging for a piece of me to stay Maybe some things never change But I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall Sleep in the same bed at night I want reasons to stay I want someone to take up my time And miss me when I go I've swam the beaches on the west coast Climbed the trees of Caroline I felt the city streets of Boston underneath my feet Heard the sound of subways down the line Walked the lakesides of Wisconsin Bathed in springs of Idaho This makes all of the straps done, so the complicated bit before I get to actually sewing things together is done. The next step is sewing the front bodice pieces together. This is fairly simple and I think I'm just going to like factory sew through them all. Okay, so I have the waist yoke pieces pinned where the dart on the bodice needs to be. So I'm going to line everything up and pin it and then we'll sew. Are you keeping me company? You're not really being a nuisance and I'm kind of proud of you for that. All things considered, like this pattern isn't hard, there's just multiple pieces so it like takes some time. But I am really happy with how it's turning out and I'm so excited to have multiples of these dresses because when I made the first one, I fell absolutely in love. Although if I'm being honest, I am getting hungry so I might stop for now. I mean, honestly, this isn't the best light for filming either. <laughs> I've just been making do because I'm on a timeline. Not like stressed like I have been before. 
but we definitely need to get stuff done. Remember when I was like, I have time, I'm not going to panic about sewing these sundresses together. And then I didn't do any work on this yesterday and now I'm slightly panicked. So we're going to take my lunch break, see if we can get the front of the bodices sewn together or just the bodices entirely. Okay, so I managed to get the fronts of all of the bodices done, which means that after work today, I can focus on getting the backs attached and I am so excited. Progress is progress. Look at how cute all of these are gonna be. And then, so I already have the strap sewn in on the front and then I went ahead and marked where all the straps are going to be on the back pieces so that way I can sew it all continuously. I have maybe an hour's worth of work and then I can get started on the skirts. So I'm honestly really excited about it. Uh, but now I need to go make lunch and then get back to real job work stuff. All right, so I'm getting back in here a little bit later than I wanted, but I needed a nap and I needed dinner and you know, I can sew later. <laughs> Not really, but we'll, we'll pretend. I am probably going to turn on a book and focus and we'll try to focus and get stuff done. Here we go. I miss those mountains in Montana. So I went through and I sewed all of the skirts together, forgetting that I was putting zippers in things. I don't have a center back seam. So um, I had other progress, let me show you real quick. I ended up deciding to cut the center back on all of the dresses because that seemed like the easiest. And then I zigzagged over a piece of crochet thread which is going to help me gather. This is like the easiest way I have ever found to gather and especially when I'm trying to like do things in a rush. Um, and it's also like fairly consistent and accurate so I'm not upset about it at all. All I want to do is lay in bed and work on this project. But I'm gonna be good and sew instead. I really like the length of this one because I generally really like T-length things. If you remember the green dress that I originally made had some gapping here. That is absolutely gone. I think out of the three that I've made, this is definitely the one that fits me the best and I like the most. The other two are just like different in fabric weaves and fibers, made things just a little bit more different. So this one is right at knee length and I really like that general length. This is probably the one that I have worn the most. The only problem is because this fabric is a little bit more flowy and there's less structure to it and I didn't put any sort of structure in like the actual bodice. It doesn't feel like it like holds me in at all. So um, usually when I wear this one, I wear like a sports bra underneath it and we're fine. Like there's coverage. I'm not worried about falling out. This one is right above my knee, so it feels a little bit more flirty, I guess is the word that I would put with it. Um, I haven't worn this one out and about yet, so I still need to like adjust the straps. There's like so much slack. Um, but once I do that, then I'll probably feel a little bit more secure and supported in this bodice. I have a feeling that like maybe this bodice will fit me a lot like the orange one does, and I'll be really happy with that. But yeah, these are the three dresses. The blue one that I was refashioning from like a previous project is not done yet. Can't really show that off. I had to put priority on these three because that's what the actual project was. But anyway, I will get that one done eventually. But I don't have that one to show because it's still in pieces on my table. Overall, I am very happy with this project and happy with how everything turned out. And I am super excited to have these three dresses in my wardrobe for summer. And so yeah. That is all I have for you. I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends!